Hi, I'm Fuad, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot issues with Session Manager, a capability of AWS Systems Manager. Let's get started. If a session fails because your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance isn't available as a managed instance, first troubleshoot your managed instance availability. For more information, check the Knowledge Center article link in the video's description. If your Amazon EC2 instance is available but the session still fails, there could be several reasons. 1. Verify your permissions. You may not have the IAM permissions to start a session. 2. Examine your instance's configuration. Even when an instance shows as available, it may not be correctly configured to work with Session Manager. 3. Windows Plugin Path. When connecting to instances from Windows machines using the AWS CLI, the Session Manager plugin may not be added to the command line path. 4. Target not connected errors. These typically stem from either incomplete Session Manager configurations or attempts to connect across accounts or regions. 5. Sometimes you may get a blank screen when initiating a session. This can happen for several technical reasons. For detailed guidance on resolving these issues, please refer to the troubleshooting guide linked in the video's description. Let's cover the Session Manager connectivity scenarios and how to resolve them. Let's review this KMS key permissions error message that appears when KMS encryption is enabled, but required permissions are missing for your user accounts, roles, or instances. To resolve the issue, first grant AWS KMS key permissions to session initiators, users, or roles. Open the IAM console. In the navigation pane, choose policies and then create policy. Choose JSON and then enter this policy. Give the policy a name such as session manager user key and choose create policy. Now attach the policy to your user or role. From the IAM console, choose roles or users. Search for and select your user or role. Then choose add permissions and then attach policies. Search for and select the session manager user key and choose add permissions. Next, you'll grant the AWS KMS key permissions to the target instances. On the IAM console, choose policies and then create policy. Choose JSON and then enter this policy. Give the policy a name such as session manager instance key and then choose create policy. Now attach the policy to your instance's role. On the IAM console, choose roles. Search for and select your instance's role. Choose add permissions and then attach policies. Search for and select Session Manager Instance Key and choose Add Permissions. To connect to your instance, open the EC2 console, select the instance and then choose Connect. Note, in AWS Systems Manager Agent version 3.2.582.0 and newer, default host management configuration automatically manages EC2 instances without an IAM instance profile. The instances must use Instance Metadata Service version 2, IMD SV2. If you're using default host management, then you must add the instance profile permissions to the IAM role that the default host management configuration uses. Please note that the default host management configuration is not enabled in AWS Systems Manager by default. For more information, please see the SSM guide on the feature. Now let's move on to the WebSocket connection error. You get this error when you attempt to reset a managed node using Fleet Manager. Note, Fleet Manager uses Session Manager to reset passwords on nodes managed in SSM. To resolve the issue, Update the instance's profile permissions to include the KMS Decrypt permission. Open the IAM console, then choose Roles or Users. Search for and select your instance's role. Choose Add Permissions and then Attach Policies. Search for and select Session Manager Instance Key. And then choose Add Permissions. Additionally, make sure that your instance can access the KMS endpoint port 443. If you're using a proxy server, then allow the endpoint through the proxy. 
finally, go to Fleet Manager, select the node, node actions, node settings, reset node user password, select the user account, and enter a new password twice. Click Submit. Now let me show you how to resolve the S3 access denied error message. To resolve this issue, navigate to the AWS Systems Manager console. In the navigation pane, choose Session Manager. Choose Preferences. Then choose Edit and locate the S3 logging section. Deselect Allow Only Encrypted S3 Buckets, and then choose Save. Now we can connect to the EC2 instance successfully. To enable the option and upload encrypted session logs to Amazon S3, you need to grant the instance profile the required permissions. Assuming your bucket uses the default server-side encryption with Amazon S3 Managed Keys, SSE-S3, create the permissions policy and attach it to the instance's IAM profile. Once you're in the IAM console, choose Policies and then Create Policy. Choose JSON and then enter this policy. Give this policy a name such as Session Manager-S3 and choose Create Policy. Finally, choose Roles, search for and select the instance's IAM role, choose Add Permissions and then choose Attach Policies. Search for and select the Session Manager-S3 policy and choose Add Permissions. If you're using default host management, add the permission to its IAM role. Now we will re-enable the S3 logging encryption and connect to the EC2 instance. Now let's reconnect to the EC2 instance. Now we can connect to the EC2 instance successfully with the S3 logging encryption enabled. Now let me show you how to resolve the Amazon CloudWatch log group error. You receive this error when you've turned on CloudWatch logs with enforced CloudWatch log encryption in the session manager's preferences. To resolve the issue, navigate to the AWS Systems Manager console, choose Session Manager and then choose Preferences, choose Edit, Locate the CloudWatch log section. Under Enforce Encryption, deselect Allow Only CloudWatch Log Groups that are encrypted by Customer Master Keys, CMK. Then save configuration changes. Now let's connect to the EC2 instance again. Now we can connect to it successfully. To turn on CloudWatch logs with encryption, open the IAM console, choose Policies, and then Create Policy. Choose JSON and enter this policy. Give the policy a name, such as CloudWatch Encryption, and then choose Create Policy. To add the permissions, choose Roles. Search for and select the instance's IAM role. Choose Add Permissions and then Attach Policies. Search for and select CloudWatch Encryption and then choose Add Permissions. Again, if you're using default host management, add the instance profile permissions to the associated IAM role. Now we will re-enable the CloudWatch logging encryption and connect to the EC2 instance. Now we can connect to the EC2 instance successfully with the CloudWatch logging encryption enabled. Finally, I'll show you how to resolve the domain controller service error. 
You receive this error because of version differences with the SSM agent when you're using SSM for Windows Server that's configured as a domain controller. For SSM agent version 2.3.612.0 and newer, the SSM user account isn't automatically created on Windows domain controllers. You must manually create the SSM user account with domain administrator permissions. To resolve this issue, check your SSM agent version. Open the Systems Manager console, choose Fleet Manager, and then check the instance's agent version. Next, manually create the SSM user account on the domain. Finally, configure the necessary permissions for the account. Make sure that the account has domain administrator permissions. Now we can connect to the domain controller EC2 instance using Session Manager. So now you know how to troubleshoot issues with AWS Systems Manager, Session Manager. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.